We're asked to compute the matrix exponential e to the power of ta, where matrix A is the two by two matrix with entries three, negative one, 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 and then we're also asked to solve x prime equals ax for x of zero equals the vector one, two. To determine the matrix exponential, the first step is to determine the eigenvalues in the corresponding eigenvectors. Because matrix A is a two by two matrix, if we're able to find two linearly independent eigenvectors, we use a general process below to determine the matrix exponential. However, if we're not able to determine two linearly independent eigenvectors, we cannot use this general procedure. So for the first step, we determine the eigenvalues. To do this, we set up the equation the determinant of the difference of a and lambda i equals zero, and then we solve for lambda. So here we have the setup. Next we simplify. Next we evaluate the determinant, simplify factor, set equal to zero, and solve. Notice here the result is two factors of lambda minus two, and therefore we only have one eigenvalue, the eigenvalue of two, that has an algebraic multiplicity of two. Or we can say lambda sub one and lambda sub two equals two. From here, if we're not able to find two linearly independent eigenvectors for the eigenvalue of two, we will not be able to use the general procedure outlined below. We'll have to use a different procedure. To find an eigenvector, we set up the equation, the difference of a and lambda i times vector v equals a zero vector, and then determine a vector v. So in our case, here's the setup for lambda equals two. Next, we simplify inside the parentheses. Notice a minus two times the identity matrix gives us the two by two matrix with entries one, negative one, one, negative one, times vector v equals a zero vector. If we can get the system, the two equations are the same. The first equation is one v one minus one v two equals zero, or v one equals v two. So if we let v two equal one, v one is also one, giving us the eigenvector v one equals the vector one one. At this point, we cannot find any different linearly independent eigenvectors because if we select a different v2, for example, the eigenvector will be a scalar multiple of the eigenvector v1. This indicates the eigenvalue of lambda equals two has a defect of one because it has an algebraic multiplicity of two, but a geometric multiplicity of one because we can only find one linearly independent eigenvector. So because we only have one eigenvector for lambda equals two, we let b equal a minus lambda i which is the two by two matrix with entries one, negative one, one, negative one. We already have this work above, which I've underlined in red. Notice A minus two times the two by two identity matrix results in the matrix B, this matrix here on the right, where the entries are one, negative one, one, negative one. What's special about matrix B is that B squared is equal to the zero matrix. So for the next step, we write A equals lambda I plus B, where again, b squared is equal to zero, and therefore the matrix exponential e to the b is equal to just i plus b. We get this by applying the matrix exponential definition shown here on the right, where if b squared is equal to zero, notice every term after the second term would have a factor of b squared, and therefore it'd be zero, leaving us with just e to the b is equal to i plus b. And if e to the b is equal to i plus b, then e to the tb is equal to i plus tb. In our case, matrix A is equal to two i plus b, shown here on the right, and therefore e to the power of t a can be written as e to the power of t times the sum of two i and b, which is equal to e to the power of two t i plus t b, and because the matrices two t i and t b both commute, this is equal to e to the power of two t i times e to the power of t b, which we will now use to determine the matrix exponential. Let's continue on the next slide. So using the equation e to the power of t a is equal to e to the power of two t i times e to the power of t b, e to the power of two t i is equal to the two by two diagonal matrix with entries e to the two t along the main diagonal, and then we have times e to the power of t b, which again is equal to the sum of i and t b. Now we determine the sum of i and t b, Simplifying, we have this two by two matrix here on the right, and then finally we multiply, which gives us our matrix exponential e to the power of t a, which is equal to the two by two matrix with entries e to the two t plus t e to the two t, negative t e to the two t in the first row, 
In the second row, we have t e to the 2t and e to the 2t minus t e to the 2t. This is the matrix exponential. And now for part b, we want to solve x prime equals ax for x of 0 equals the vector 1, 2. To begin, the general solution of x prime equals ax is x of t equals the matrix exponential times the constant vector c1, c2. And now we use the initial condition x of 0 equals the vector 1, 2. We substitute in 0 for t and set it equal to the vector 1, 2. We solve for c1 and c2, which just gives us that c1 equals 1 and c2 equals 2. Notice the result, the constant vector c is the same vector that's given as x of 0, the vector 1, 2. And therefore, the particular solution is x of t equals the matrix exponential times the vector 1, 2. We didn't actually have to show all this work here because e to the power of 0, a is equal to the identity matrix, which we see here. And therefore, whatever x of 0 is equal to is going to give us our constant vector c. The last step, we multiply and then simplify. The particular solution is x equals the vector e to the 2t minus t e to the 2t to e to the 2t minus t e to the 2t. I hope you found this helpful.